consider these two groups of items. On the left, we have a group of balls containing the tennis ball, basketball, cricket ball, football, and volleyball. On the right, we have a group of fruits, which are the watermelon, orange, apple, strawberry, and banana. Observe that these objects have been placed nicely into their respective groups. Mathematically, these groups are called sets. A set is a collection of well-defined and distinct objects or numbers. There are two key properties in the definition. First, objects in a set must be well-defined. This means each object must have some specific properties that make it belong to the set. Because of these well-defined properties, we know that the basketball does not belong to the set of fruits. Similarly, the apple cannot go into the set of balls. The second keyword is distinct. This means that every object is unique and no two objects are identical. For example, in the set of balls, we cannot have two identical basketballs. Let's take a look at two more examples of sets. The set on the left contains the letters A, E, I, O, and U. Therefore, this is a set of vowels of the English alphabet. On the right, the objects are 2, 4, 6, and 8. Therefore, it is a set of even numbers that are less than 10. Observe that both sets have well-defined properties and every object is distinct. Now consider this example. A collection of beautiful flowers. This is not an example of a set because the word beautiful means different things to different people. For instance, some people may say that a rose is beautiful, while others may feel that a rose is not beautiful. Therefore, the property of beautiful is not well defined. To make this into a set, we can remove the word beautiful, so we end up simply with a set of flowers. Can you think of any examples of sets in your daily life? How about collections that are not sets? Next, we will look at the notation of sets, using the set of English vowels as an example. When we talk about sets, we normally talk about two things. First, we need to refer to the whole set. And second, we need to refer to individual objects in the set. To denote the set, we normally use capital letters, such as A, B, C, and so on. We shall denote this set as A. To denote the individual objects, we usually use small letters, such as small a, b, c, and so on. Now, the objects of a set have a special name. They are called the elements of the set or the members of the set. Therefore, in this example, we say that set A has five elements. Finally, we want to show the relationship between the set and its elements. To show that an element belongs to a set, we use this symbol which means is a member of or belongs to. For instance, to show that element E belongs to set A, we write this expression. If an element does not belong to a set, we simply use the same symbol, but cross it out. For instance, we say that element F does not belong to set A. Let us do a quick exercise. Study these statements. Which are correct and which are incorrect? Take a minute to think and discuss with your friends. Let us review. Recall 
that a set is defined by two key properties well defined and distinct objects non distinct is not a correct property of sets therefore this statement is incorrect moving on a collection of intelligent boys in a class does not form a set similar to the collection of beautiful flowers intelligent is a word that is subjective and not well defined is a boy considered intelligent if he scores grade a or grade b or grade c to make this a set we can remove the word intelligent so a collection of boys in a class is a set or we can change intelligent to something more well defined such as a collection of boys in a class who score above 80% this will also be a set for statement 3 we have to know what prime numbers are prime numbers are numbers that can only be divided by 1 and itself therefore the set of prime numbers include elements like 2 3 5 7 11 etc therefore this statement is the only correct statement to summarize a set is a collection of well defined and distinct objects or numbers objects of a set are called elements or members sets are usually represented by capital letters while elements by small letters to show that an element belongs to a set we use this notation element x belongs to set a